Yeah. So how do you like work? How do you process through all that stuff? You said you do writing. Mm -hmm. So I do a lot of writing. Um, Like for instance, if I have a negative thought, like even just like if I'm like watching the news and I'm like, oh, global warming, we're doomed, you know, I I start writing it down. Like I'm like, we're doomed. Why do I think we're doomed? Because this isn't this. Mm -hmm. And then I look at it and I'm like, okay, so these are all things that are being like fed to me. Mm -hmm. These are all I'm writing down doomed things from what exactly I've heard. Mm -hmm. Now that I know that it's out of my head, my brain can stop feeding it to me. Let me go online and educate myself on, on scientific websites about all the good things that are happening and surround myself with just positive news. Wait, are you telling me that you're doing research I and do you're research. not just reading the headlines? Yes, yes, yes. That's yes. crazy. Mm-hmm. Nobody does that. Right, right. <laughs> I actually like, uh, I have my own discord and I purposely put positive, just like scientific advances, um, positive acts that people are doing because I'm like, it, we need more of that. Yeah. It, and it's not even like, it's not even like we don't have it. The thing is, is being positive and happiness is easy. You expect it when you're a human, right? So mm-hmm. you just live and you assume that things are going to be good. You assume that you're, you're happy. So that's why you don't see it or have that like relief of it because negativity is something you don't expect. So when it comes into your way, you see it and you take it in. But I'm like, you guys, like if you would just realize like every day, just like getting up, is like an amazing thing. Like mm-hmm. being able to, even if you're, you're strapped for money, but being able to get yourself that coffee, you know, because you've saved that 250 is an amazing thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think people just like forget that. And they're just so easy to listen to the negative because it's louder than the positive. Mm-hmm. But like, you know, with everything going on in the world where we've got the most, um, green innovations uh, ever with the most legislation working against us. So we've done the most advances and it's actually more profitable to be green than it is to use all these other things. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, we have the most science, uh, most science uh, advances in medicine right now. And when it comes to like feeding the homeless and all that stuff, we have the most activists working ever in America. And I'm like, why are so many of you listening to this? Like, fear in your own brain because if you keep listening to that it's going to make you lazy it's going to make you not want to do things yeah and it's really weird and it's kind of like it's a bad way to live to live in fears i can't imagine it you know yeah but it's also like what the media feeds us all the time Mm because what is the two things that sells sex and fear yep and fear is like that's what's being fed to you 24 hours Mm -hmm. through the news channel like my dad um you know, he's got Parkinson's and he's 82. And so he does a lot of like just sitting and watching fucking CNN on repeat. Uh-huh. Um, and it's just like con- all this constant negative because people don't like, they don't want to hear the stories about like, oh, all of the good things that are happening in life. It's the fear that sells because people get like focused on that and they need to learn more about that. And then like, mm-hmm. and I just feel like we're all like in this active state of anxiety all the time. Yeah. Totally. I think there, like, I wish there was a news outlet that was just like a positive one because uh, I think it's the same with porn. So like everyone wants brother and stepsister stuff, right? Yeah. So we create brother and stepsister stuff and then more people want brother and stepsister stuff. Like you watch news and it gives you bad stuff and then you want to watch more bad stuff. I think the market kind of creates, um, the viewers. And then it's like a vicious circle where the viewers start, start doing it as well. But I think if somebody were to step in a news outlet or something was to step in and create something different, you would see, sure, it might be a slow roll, but you Mm. would see people would start changing to that type of way. Because after all the politics that just happened, what is CNN and all these websites now doing? They're talking about global warming in the worst way, Mm -hmm. right? So now they're making people afraid to try to, to be better. They're making people, oh shit, well, the planet's already doomed, Mm -hmm. right? If I talk about any global warming, well, we're already doomed. There's nothing we can do to fix it. No, that's not true. We've actually lowered it this year. We've lowered it by one degree, right? If we can get one more uh, degree lower for next year, we're, we're way ahead of the track that we've set for ourselves. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, you're just allowing, like, they're basically, they're basically fear mongering you from, from being better and, and doing better because then you're kind of stuck on this, this wheel, you know, and I don't want to say like consumption wheel because people start being like, oh, you're crazy and woke, but it really is. You're stuck on the same consumption wheel and fear mongering situation. Yeah, I know. It's so true. I mean, 
where where our society is so much about consumption and I'm totally guilty of it too. Yeah. Like I'm I'm bad about that and I've been trying to to be better. It's funny because I saw this um article uh, that somebody posted on Instagram about how like 90% of the plankton has disappeared in the Atlantic ocean. Like mm -hmm. it's gone. And I like went to a full blown panic attack. I mean, I've been seeing global, you know, global warming news everywhere, but yeah. I don't know if it was that specifically. And I spent like two days, like totally freaked out. Yeah. But you know what I did? I started, this is like a small change, but I feel like it's a good one. I found this company that does these laundry sheets that's mm -hmm. like detergent and it's just like little sheets like this called like eco something. And so instead of getting those big Tide bottles with all the plastic, yeah. you get these little sheets and you put, and I bought them and I put them in the laundry machine and they fucking work great. Yeah. And they come in a little cardboard thing like this big and it's See? recyclable and they're like, they don't have any uh, parabens or any of the bad stuff for you. So and better. it's not like bad for the environment and just the packaging alone. Like if you mm -hmm. think of all the plastic that we consume constantly, we don't think about it. Yeah. Totally. And, but even like just that like little thing, like even like the fact that I gave you a plastic water bottle, like I should, you know, Reason. not have that, like, or I should have liquid death, which comes in a, which comes in a recyclable <laughs> right. can. Right. Joanna, send me more liquid death food anymore. <laughs> I ran out, but just like little changes like that. Um, but that's what it is. That's what people don't understand is they think like, oh, it's never going to change. But like one small step, one small change makes huge changes. Mm -hmm. Everyone made a small change. It would be a big change. Yeah. And that's what people don't understand. They rather like give up instead of just like attempt to do something, you know? Yeah. I think either we fully discredit the whole global warming thing, which mm -hmm. we know that some people do. They're like, it doesn't exist. It's a mm -hmm. hoax or yeah, it does. It feels so hopeless. Like, well, fuck it. Yeah. Like I can't even imagine to like begin to try to do something about it because it just looks like nothing we do is going to change anything. Yeah. That's Which so is like, true. they're not listening to science. No. <laughs> like those are the people that are not listening to science. But science doesn't sell. Yeah. Fear sells. So true. It's so weird. I love how we went from what <laughs> you're quitting <laughs> porn to like plastic use. I don't know how we went down that fucking tangent. I love it. I love it. I actually, I, I often talk about, I often talk about that and I kind of talk about politics a lot too. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really ironic because I get a lot of uh, death threats now. I get a lot of craziness because of it. So since I've started to be more vocal, like the stuff I get is like so oh, people wild. Get so angry. I yeah, know it's really like angry. so wild. I'm like, you we're guys so are polarized. Crazy. It's, 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 yeah. Oh my God. Um, you so how need to be science scientists. That's all. I know. You know so just well, maybe you like need to start a science channel. That's true. Maybe, maybe you should just do like Adriana's science news. I just like, bought a giant volcano to build in my backyard to try and like show everyone about just elementary science. I fucking believe it. Like I, I, I love it. I was like, I'm going to the teacher supply store and we're going to do like elementary science for each year just to like try and like learn some funny stuff. That's so, so I great. do some pretty funny things. That's really 